In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a bootable USB drive for your Ubuntu operating system on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. For this, you will need two things. First is the ISO file for your Ubuntu operating system. And the second thing is the tool which we will use to convert our ISO file into the bootable USB drive. So first of all, let's start and download the Ubuntu ISO file. So in order to download the Ubuntu setup, we're gonna go to Google, open your favorite browser, Google, and then search for Ubuntu download. It's gonna be the first link, click on it, and then we're gonna install or download the latest version of it would be Ubuntu 24.042 LTS or long-term support. And then you can click on this button here, the download, I've already uh, clicked on it and it's downloading right now. We're gonna wait for this to download, it's 5.9 gigabytes, and then we're gonna create a bootable USB drive in order to install it on the other PC. So the download is complete and I do have the setup for Ubuntu. Now we need to download another tool called Rufus in order to enable us to create a bootable uh, USB drive. Create, search for Rufus on Google and then click on the first link. So once you come here, you can choose your language that you want. I'm choosing English International. It's gonna show you the interface of the Rufus and how it's gonna work or how it's gonna help us create a bootable device. At the time of recording, Rufus 4.9 is the latest version of this one, which was last released on 15th of June, 2025. I'm gonna download the standard, just click on it and it's gonna start downloading up there. Now it's already downloaded and we are ready to go for the next step. So now we have downloaded both the Ubuntu and also the Rufus, the tool that we need to create a bootable USB drive. As you can see here, I do have the Ubuntu and the Rufus setup. Now I think we're gonna open the Rufus. Once the Rufus is open, we're gonna choose the USB, which is this one. As you can see here, if I go to my PC, I do have it here, the name is USB, and it's about 16 gigabytes. I do have it right here, and then we're gonna choose disk ISO. Uh, for the boot selection, we're gonna choose the disk or ISO image, and then we're gonna go select the file, uh, we're gonna choose that Ubuntu setup that we just downloaded. Okay, so it's already the boot selection is the Ubuntu. Now the per persistent partition, I'm gonna leave those options all uh, in default. The partition scheme MBR, there are two options, I guess, GPT and MBR, I'm gonna just put it on the default. And also BIOS or UEFI for the target system. And also I do have the volume label. Uh, it's gonna change the name of this drive uh, to this one, to the Ubuntu. And also I'm gonna leave this to default, the file th the file system, the FOT 32 and also for the cluster size, uh, this default bytes as well, 8192 bytes as well. There are some other also advanced option for the quick format and create extended level and icon files. I leave it the same as it is. And then I'm gonna click start. So now it's gonna ask if we wanna write it in ISO image mode or in DD image mode. I'm gonna choose the ISO image mode, click OK. So this is the warning that make sure that the, the drive or the USB drive that you're choosing is empty, or if it's not empty, you have already copied all the files that are inside that if there's any important, because it's gonna clear it uh, in totally. It's gonna clean it totally. It's got all the files that are inside would be destroyed. So mine is empty as you can see, and I'm okay to hit okay. So now we have to wait for this to be 100% complete. And then we're gonna move on forward. One eternity later. So now it's completely done. We can close this. As you can see, we do have the bootable device right here, the Ubuntu 24, and it's ready for us to use it to install the Ubuntu on the other PC. 